From the Tribune News Network, this is Newsbreak. I'm Krishna Russell. Attorney Fred Smith has filed a writ of habeas corpus to compel the government to explain why four Chinese nationals are being kept at the Carmichael Road Detention Center. According to an affidavit filed in the Supreme Court, the applicants arrived in the country on December 20, 2020, and were lawfully admitted to the country. However, they were allegedly unable to travel back to Europe and Asia because of COVID-19 travel restrictions. They were allegedly frustrated by the process of trying to extend their stay and were unable to communicate this to the Department of Immigration. The affidavit, which was signed by Whistlin Jeffard of Calendars & Co., said, quote, the applicants traveled to Bimini to extend their vacation time and on or around June 4, 2020, the applicants were arrested on a boat in Bimini. They were imprisoned in a jail in Bimini for the following two days on or around June 7. The applicants were transferred to the CDC. Pick up a copy of today's Tribune for more on this story. Education Minister Jeffrey Lloyd said officials have not yet made a decision as to how schools will reopen in September due to uncertainty surrounding the COVID-19 pandemic. His comments come as the country is experiencing another resurgence of cases and an increase in hospitalizations. Mr. Lloyd said while it is too early to tell which instruction model will be used for the upcoming fall semester, Bahamians can be assured schools will reopen in September. He also said whichever model the ministry chooses will not come without the approval of health officials. Amid frenzied speculation about an early election, the Organization of Responsible Governance wants the government to formally declare its intention for a fixed election date and or the anticipated time frame of the next general election. The group believes electoral reform is what the country needs to level the playing field. While for months there has been speculation that Prime Minister Dr. Hubert Minnis could call an early election, there was heightened confusion in recent days after both Progressive Liberal Party leader Philip Rave Davis and House of Assembly Speaker Halsin Mutri announced an expectation of an early election and a dissolution of parliament this week. In a press statement this week, ORG's executive director, Matt Aubrey, said a stronger democracy would be created through fixed dates. The Bahamas will likely receive hundreds of thousands of COVID-19 vaccine doses this quarter, it was revealed yesterday. Amid concerns, the nation is near bottom in the Caribbean in inoculation rates. Ed Fields, deputy director of the National COVID-19 Vaccine Consultative Committee, told a Bahamas Hotel and Tourism Association that although he cannot give any level of guarantee on the quantity or timing, it appears that the promised U.S. grant of doses will arrive in August. He spoke after Carrie Fountain, the Out Islands Promotion Board, Board's executive director revealed data showing the Bahamas ranks 31st out of 34 Caribbean countries when it comes to the rate at which its population is being vaccinated against COVID-19. Your complete news and information source, this is the Tribune News Network. In international news, most Americans who haven't been vaccinated against COVID-19 say they are unlikely to get the shots and doubt that those shots would work against the aggressive Delta variant, despite evidence that they do. According to a new poll that underscores the challenges facing public health officials amid soaring infections in some states. Among American adults who have not yet received a vaccine, 35 percent say they probably will not and 45 percent say they definitely will not. According to a poll from the Associated Press, just three 3% say they definitely will get the shots, though another 16% say they probably will. What's more, 64% of unvaccinated Americans have little to no confidence the shots are effective against variants, including the Delta variant that officials say is responsible for 83% of new cases in the U.S., despite evidence that they offer strong protection. Belated and beleaguered, the virus-delayed Tokyo Summer Olympics finally opened Friday night with cascading fireworks and made-for-TV choreography that unfolded in a near-empty stadium, a colorful but strangely subdued ceremony that set a striking tone to match a unique pandemic games. As their opening played out, devoid of the usual crowd energy, the Olympics convened amid simmering anger and disbelief in much of the host country, but with hopes from organizers that the excitement of the sports to follow would offset the widespread opposition. The Tribune's AccuWeather update a service of Bahamas Power and Light Company. A persistent high-pressure ridge is generating gentle to fresh winds, along with pleasant weather conditions across the Bahama Islands. The public is advised to remain hydrated and limit direct sun exposure during daytime high temperatures. Residents in the southeast Bahamas are to be alert for possible rip currents along east and southeasterly beaches. Mariners in the northwest Bahamas should be vigilant for possible waterspout activity during showers 
and thunderstorms. In the northwest Bahamas, it'll be partly cloudy, hot, and humid, with scattered showers and isolated thunderstorms, heavy at times in the extreme northwest islands through tomorrow. Expect gusty winds and higher seas in or near heavy showers and thunderstorms. Winds southeast to south at 10 to 15 knots, falling light and variable at times, increasing 15 to 20 knots in the extreme northwestern islands tomorrow. Seas 2 to 4 feet, building 4 to 6 feet in the extreme northwest Bahamas tomorrow. In the central and southeast Bahamas, it'll be partly to mostly sunny, hot, and breezy, with quick passing showers and hazy skies in the southeastern islands. They are hot and breezy with a passing shower tonight. Small craft caution continues in the southeast Bahamas. Winds east to southeast at 10 to 15 knots in the central Bahamas and easterly at 15 to 20 knots in the southeast Bahamas. Seas 2 to 4 feet in the central islands, building 4 to 6 feet in the southeast Bahamas. We'll have a daytime high temperature of 92 degrees with a heat index of 104 and an overnight low temperature of 77. The sun will set this afternoon at 757 and will rise tomorrow morning at 634. That's news break. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper now on the streets or stay up to date online at tribune242.com.